look at this view that I have to record this video. It's crazy. We're at our family's beach house in Seaside, Oregon. Uh, if you've watched any of my beach fungal golf videos, uh, this is where we stay and this is where we've filmed those before. But anyways, we're here for spring break and it's been really windy today. So if you hear any wind noises, that's what that is. But anyways, today I'm here to tell you guys about my no hitter that I threw in my first high school start. So this happened two weeks ago exactly. We were playing Monroe High School. It was rainy, it was really cold, it was wet, it was a little bit windy, but thankfully they had a turf field. Uh, except the only problem was that the mound was dirt, so that really, really sucked, uh, especially for pitching. I got my brand new cleats all dirty, uh, and it's it's really annoying. Uh, so we actually had a doubleheader, and the first game we lost like nine to seven, I think. I don't remember the final score. First game I went one for one. I had a double and two walks, and I got to play left field the whole game. But anyways, the second game, once again. It's cold and wet and the rain hasn't stopped. It's actually, the rain is actually kicked up at this point. Uh, the mound, there's like, <laughs> it was it was crazy. The mound had like a moat around it because of how much water there was. So there was just like, there was like puddles all the way around the mound and then the top of the mound was like, it was pretty muddy. Uh, so first inning, I had one strikeout I had one strikeout, but I also had a walk, uh, and once again, super wet out. I couldn't get a very good grip on the ball, uh, but I had enough of a grip where I could locate and at least get people to swing at some of my pitches. But in the first inning, I struck a guy out on a fastball on the outside corner. Uh, it was a pretty good pitch. Uh, but second inning of work, I go out there and I strike two guys out. But my first strikeout of the second inning was on a nasty splitter. Uh, and then my second strikeout of the second inning was on a curveball. Uh, and I struck the last guy out on a nice fastball at the knees. And after the second inning was over, I kind of started to settle in more. I was more relaxed. I could finally get a grip on the ball. It stopped raining for a few innings. Uh, third inning, I struck one guy out on a fastball. Third inning, I struck one guy out uh, on a fastball. It's a really good pitch. Uh, and then after the third inning, while I was in the dugout, uh, one of my teammates was like, oh, you have a no-hitter so far. And so it started going through my mind, and I was kind of like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. And also in between innings, it started raining a lot. Although the mound already had a moat around it, it was kind of getting bigger by the minute. Uh, it was getting really rainy, it was really cold, it was like 35 degrees or something like that. And the fourth inning, I went out there and I struck the first guy out on a fastball at the knees. And then for the second out of the inning, I don't know if he's watching this, uh, but Gavin, my center fielder, he made an insane sliding catch to save the game. The hitter ripped a line drive right at him uh, and he had to run in a few steps and then he slid and caught it. It was a really great play and I have to give a lot of credit to him because he completely saved the no-hitter. Two outs, bottom of the fourth inning. Up comes the kid who can probably hit it 400 feet. <laughs> he also plays for Havoc, uh, and he, he hit a few home runs last year, I've heard. In the first game, he hit an absolute piss missile to left field. It had to be at least like 95 exit velo or something like that. It was crazy. And I was playing left field. I could barely cut it off. It was only like 20 feet away from me too. And I could barely cut it off. That's how hard he hit it. I had already gotten him to pop out once. So I was pretty nervous going into this at bat because I know he can really change the game with one swing. Uh, but I got him to swing. I got him to swing and miss at a first pitch curveball, and then I missed with a fastball on the second pitch. On the third pitch, I got him to foul off uh, an upstairs fastball, and the fourth pitch is probably one of the best curveballs I've thrown in uh, such a clutch moment. It was, it was just perfect. <laughs> I really wanted to throw it, uh, and me and Lucas, my catcher, we were on the same page, and he called for it, and I was like, yep, he knows exactly what I want to throw already. Uh, and I started it at his head and it just curved down perfectly into the middle of the zone and I struck him out. Good 
And I struck him out for my seventh strikeout of the game through four innings. If you didn't know, after four innings in a high school game, uh, the game officially counts, so all stats will go to your like end of the year stats or whatever. Uh, and the games don't have to be rescheduled if it gets rained out after the fourth. So we had to end the game after the fourth inning, sadly. I really wish I could have pitched more uh, because I wanted to see if I could at least get my no-hitter through seven innings or at least throw a shutout. That would have been nice. But anyways, even though it's four innings, it does technically count because we did get to play four innings before it got rained out. Sorry if you think that that's clickbait, but I mean... It counts as a no-hitter, so I'll take it. Uh, and then my next start, about a week later, I guess I'll tell you guys this too, uh, just because I threw seven complete innings. Uh, we lost two to nothing, but I had two unearned runs. And I don't remember how many strikeouts I had. I think I had 10 strikeouts that game. Uh, so it was a great game too. And that one was versus the Mount Lake Terrace High School JV team. Uh, and there were like four or five kids that I knew from Rush. So it was fun to play against them. I always love playing against people that I know. It's a lot of fun. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.